What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Antoine Owens, JSU alum, had a real good season in the USFL. A real good season. Showed out last night. And their first USFL championship game. Now, he wasn't the only HBCU football player that put in work. Tennessee State's wide receiver, Chris Rowan, had what? Five receptions for 55 yards. He had 29 yards rushing. And he had, I think, punt and a kickoff return. So... Now, y'all know what's going to happen next. He'll be in somebody's camp later on this month. NFL camp. Antoine Owens, he'll be in somebody's camp later on this month, too. I said on plenty of videos, HBCU athletes, they got to struggle. They got to do it. They got to go through the back door. They got to climb mountains to get where they're going. But look. Antoine Owens made a couple dollars in the USFL. It was another outlet to show NFL, show the NFL what they, you know, what he can do. And now he got to wait for teams to start calling for him. Like, don't be surprised in the next couple of days I do a video talking about Antoine Owens signed with such and such. And that goes for Tennessee State's wide receiver, Chris Rowland. More than likely, like, their agents, probably, their agents is probably on the phone with teams right now discussing opportunities. Yeah, but yeah, these guys are going to end up in the NFL camp. And that's all you can ask for. Also, shout out to Brian Mills from North Carolina Central and Tuskegee's Patrick Ramsey. Now, in other, um, talk about players signing. Texas Southern, Davis Lyman, Michael Badajo just got invited to the Carolina Panthers camp. So he'll, he got an opportunity to try to make an NFL roster. Once again, that's all you can ask if you're a football player. So congratulations to all the HBCU athletes who participated in the USFL. Job well done. And I expect to see some of you playing on Sunday and talking about y'all in videos in the near future. I'll holler at y'all later.